What's up everyone? My name is Dora and you're watching Creative Bath Lab. Today I'm going to show you how to make foaming soap. You can use it as hand soap or body wash. This is my son's favorite soap. So when it ran out, mama just had to make him some more. I must have tried 10 different recipes, but I got the best one for you. As always, check out the description for important information. This is a very soft or loose recipe, so you don't have to follow it exactly or even close to get great results. I'll be using these supplies, but you can make foaming hand soap with just water and a liquid surfactant like I did in the last foaming hand soap tutorial, which is linked above. Or you can use water and a powder surfactant, or you can use both surfactants like I'll be doing. If you add fragrance oil, I recommend adding an emulsifier like polysorbate as well. The SLSA creates fluffy foam in a thick lather. Add about 100 milliliters of distilled water. Stir the mixture well, then microwave it so the powder is fully dissolved. The liquid surfactant is a foam booster and stabilizer. I don't recommend adding more fragrance than this, but if you do, add more emulsifier as well. I used polysorbate 20 because it's thinner than poly 80. At this point, this is a liquid soap concentrate. Now add more water. I added a total of 400 milliliters, but you can add over 1200. You'll see why in the experiments chapter. I bought these mason pump jars for this project. Aren't they so cute? They also come with the little stickers. They'll be linked in the description. I also added a little bit of liquid colorant. For that tutorial, click the information icon. One drop would have been too dark, so I diluted it first and I ended up using about half the cup. also made a batch of green soap. Aren't they pretty? The soap is bright, colorful, and cheery in the jar, but the foam is white. Yeah, after a couple hours of sitting, it'll get this like white, you know, little line up here. It does not affect anything. You don't have to shake it, or you can, but it's just, you know, in a few hours, you're just gonna see this line appear there again. This one was the recipe that I gave you. And then this one is, has like double the fragrance and polysorbate 80. And you can see the line is much thicker there. And also it's less transparent. This one's more opaque because polysorbate will make liquids less transparent. Okay, so let's check out the foaming action. And oh my God, it smells amazing. I used Black Sea and Mahogany Coconut. Um, you can get those both at the Flaming Candle Company. Black Sea is by far the strongest scent that I own. A little goes a long way. It smells like a clean, modern, stylish cologne. The coconut softens it and adds a bit of sweetness. It is kick-ass good. Okay, so now we're gonna experiment, which I absolutely love. I love testing different ingredients and recipes and observing the results. You learn so much. All these have 25 milliliters of soap in them. Uh, I added 25 additional milliliters of water, 50 additional milliliters of water, 75 additional milliliters of water, and 100 additional milliliters of water. All right, so here's the first one.
Very nice. Second one. Can't really tell any difference there. Third one. Again, no difference. Fourth one. No difference. Fifth one. Here now is where I see an actual difference where the foam isn't as exact, you know, like maybe it's not as firm as it was before, but it still, it still works fine. You can see the foam production is essentially the same for all of them. I just thought about it and making this soap would be very cheap, especially when you quadruple the water. The scent may decrease slightly, but other than that, the only way you'd see a real difference is if you used a loofah, as the diluted soaps wouldn't create as much foam and lather. You can make concentrated liquid soap to mix later. You make the recipe as before, just don't add the additional water at the end. To refill your pump jar, add 1 fourth concentrate and 3 fourths or more water. My son loves this soap, so I made a big bottle of concentrate to refill when needed, which will be way more often than you can possibly imagine. He washes his hands at least 20 times a day. I'm not exaggerating. They actually get chapped because of it. I've always stressed the importance of hygiene, especially hand washing, but things really amped up during COVID. I'm not complaining. I'm actually really proud, but I think he's become a little bit OCD about it. Foam soap is one of my favorite types of soap. It's definitely the easiest. The fluffy foam effortlessly glides all over, instantly cleaning skin wherever it goes. Plus, it's got to be one of the cheapest soaps to make. If you're using this as body wash too, stick with the recipe I gave you. But if it's just for hand soap, add double, triple, or quadruple times the water, as there is literally no difference. So check out how much foam and lather the loofah creates. It's insane. Thanks for dropping in. For more awesome tutorials just like this and to show me and my channel some love, subscribe now. It's that big red button or just click my picture right there in the middle.